What is up my agate loving friends? Today, I'm gonna be cutting open a bunch of agates, but before we do, I gotta get something off my chest. And I, I typically don't like drawing lines in the sand, but you know what? Today's that day. I'm drawing a big line in the sand because I'm just, I'm fed up with something. I'm sick of seeing it. So, I have started a movement and it's called Dada. Dads Against Dyed Agates. So in honor of Dads Against Dyed Agates, today we're cutting open 100% natural blue agates. Let's fire up the saw and get to cutting. So we have our first six cuts in the book. Let's take a peek at some of these smaller ones first. Oh, that is so dark. There is, <laughs> it looks like absolute black. There's just barely any bands right there. Let's see this guy. Oh, it's a little geode agate. Oh, that is sweet. Again, it does have some bands in there. It's just very, very faint. <laughs> Those ones are so dark. Hoping that this lighter one has some beautiful details in there. It looks like there's some Saganite sprays in there. So I'm very excited about this guy right here. Oh my goodness, that is so, so beautiful. Look at the details inside that. All those sprays, that is gorgeous. That's so sweet. So I got all of these agates from Tidewater Agates PNW. There's all of the places you can find them. And he also let me know that these agates, you don't know exactly what's on the inside. They're kind of a gamble. Like you saw with some of those first ones, they're pretty dark, very, very dark. There are details in there, but it is not showing up at all. It literally looks pure black, which is kind of sweet, but we're gonna cut open a lot of these. This is one that I'm probably gonna cut last. Looks like it's gonna be an absolute beauty. A couple of sweet windows. We're gonna cut it right in through there. I'm gonna grab another handful and we'll get to cutting. Ooh. That's pretty. Very dark. Ooh, that's pretty sweet with that quartz running through there. <laughs> that one reminds me of a Malawi agate. That's so pretty. Huh. Interesting. Not a whole lot going on in that one. I take it back. I took a closer look and that is mossy. Very mossy. That's really pretty. Yellow moss. I like that. That is pretty sweet. So I asked Tidewater Agates PNW <laughs> how these agates get their blue color, and he let me know that they are very rich in manganese. So if you want to learn more about that, Google it, because that is all I know about it. <laughs> They're pretty sweet. Oh, let's cut a couple of these ones here. Um, light blue, light blue. The darker ones I'm finding are very, very dark. So let's cut through these guys and see what's going on. Well, that very first one, the little one, kind of blew up on me, but it's pretty. It's got some little black and white bands. Not too bad. We'll kind of check these out, smallest to largest too. Oh, that's got some really sweet black bands in the quartz there. That is so 
pretty. I like that one a lot. We'll keep that one. Let's see this bluish one here. Oh, so interesting. It's got details, but it's very light. This one I'm really hoping has a lot of blue in there, but given the other ones that we've cut, it's probably very black. Oh, it's like a little itty bitty geode, but it's got some really cool bands like right up in there. Some fractures, but that's pretty sweet. And I bet that this one is gonna be a lot of quartz. It was a pretty quick cut for the size with my six inch saw. Oh, that is pretty. One of the prettiest ones so far. Bands coming through all the way down in there. I love the little like angel wing quartz going on in there too. That's nice. So this big handful here is full of those really dark bluish black nodules. So if I get any with really beautiful details that show up very nicely on camera, I will show you, but I'm gonna cut through these and then we'll get to the last little group we have are ones that I think have the best potential. So of that whole batch, we did end up getting a bunch that were very light in the bands department and very, very dark and hard to see what was going on. But I did get a small handful of very beautiful agates and these are some of my favorites so far. We have been cutting through these like hot knives through butter. We have six more cuts to go. We'll get through these and I'll show you after we cut each one individually. I have high hubs for this one. It's got some yellow in there and a little piece broke off the end there and I think I saw some bands popping out. So let's see. Oh, I wish you could see it better. There are bands inside there. They're very, very dark, very dark. This one's got a lot, a lot of bands on the husk. So I have high hopes. Please don't let me down, be sweet. Oh, it's super sweet. That has got some really awesome like little tubes right there running through. Beautiful, beautiful bands. Love those blue bands, little, it's like a light blue light blue tinge with them. Oh, so sweet. This one has a super beautiful husk. I hope some of that light blue runs deep. Oh, it does run deep. It's got sweet bands in there. Super sweet. Weird fracture right there, but those bands in there, those are really nice. I love the black and blue combo. It's, it's too good. So this one's got a pretty dark husk, but it has this little banded window right here. So I'm hoping, oh, that is awesome. That's one of my favorites so far. Look at how pretty that is. Mind the saw blade marks. I think it's time for me to replace my saw blade. That is, you can see it in the light. That's so bad, crazy, crazy how bad that is. But anyways, that's a super beautiful egg though. Gorgeous. So I've been cutting with a six inch thin centered blade from High Tech Diamond. I'm switching out to a thin notch blade from High Tech Diamond. And I don't mind this blade. Let me get this one put on and we'll cut the last two agates. That was so much smoother, so much more enjoyable, so nice. So let's check out this bad boy right here. It's got some nice little bands there. Oh, that is sweet. And the face looks so much better. Not as bad of a saw blade marks. Oh, beautiful bands coming up and through here. Blacks, blues, that is nice. I don't see any fractures either. Minus down here in that little quartzy area. That is really, really pretty. But you guys, 
we have our last cut. This big blue guy, hopefully it's mainly blue or white on the inside. Those banded windows right there are running in. Got a new blade on, finish it off. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty, our final cut took about three minutes, but I hope, hope, hope it'll be worth it. And this one is a total stud muffin. Oh, <laughs> and it is, it's our best cut. Save the best for last. Look at how beautiful that is. Such amazing bands in there. Quartz, black in there. It looks like a cow, doesn't it? <laughs> that is so funny, so pretty. Oh, it is nice. I am very, very pleased with that final cut. Awesome blue bands in there, blacks, even got some like little yellow staining in there in the quartz. That is nice. Really, really cool. Call this one the heifer. <laughs> well, that was a super fun way to end that cutting session. Thank you so much to Tidewater Agates. P &W. Make sure you go follow them on all their socials and make sure you go check out Dada, Dads Against Dyed Egg. It's available on my Etsy shop. All of it's going to be linked in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.